चैप्टर एट अट्रिब्यूट टू ह्यूमैनिटी नीरजा भनोट नीरजा भनोट वॉज बॉर्न टू हरीश एंड रामा भनोट ऑन सेवेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री इन चंडीगढ़ लेटर द फैमिली मूव टू मुंबई देन कॉल्ड बॉम्बे नीरजा वॉज अ सेंसिटिव एंड कंपैशनेट यंग वुमेन हर इन अ ब्यूटी रिफ्लेक्टेड ऑन हर सरीन ब्यूटिफुल फेस फॉलोइंग अ कन्वेंशनल अरेंज्ड मैरिज इन She joined her husband in the Gulf under the strain of dowry pressures. Neerja returned home to her parents in Bombay within 2 months. Neerja was a woman of dignity and strength. She would not relent to pressures of dowry. Her husband set humiliating conditions for her return to him and Neerja's family did not comply. The marriage had turned sour. Neerja decided to move on in life and she signed a modeling contract. A little later she undertook the training for a flight purser with Pan Am immensely dedicated Neerja made a responsible and committed flight attendant on the 5th of September 1986 she had returned from a day long shoot for a modeling assignment she was the senior flight purser on the flight on which her courage was to be tested the test that made her so special to our country to humanity at Karachi The plane was hijacked by four heavily armed terrorists. Immediately, Neerja rushed towards the cockpit to inform the captain. A terrorist caught her by her ponytail, but she managed to shout the hijack code. Another flight attendant who caught the code conveyed it ahead. What followed was a traumatic experience for all those on board. The three-member cockpit crew of pilot, co-pilot and the flight engineer exhibited great cowardice. They deserted the plane and the 360 passengers and a 13 member cabin crew were left in the hands of the heartless terrorists. Neerja was the cabin crew leader with grit and a deep sense of duty. She took over command. She kept the passengers calm and ensured that they were comforted. She continued to serve and attend to the passengers' needs. She realized that the terrorists would harm the American passengers the most. hoping to confuse the terrorists about their identity she discreetly collected all the american passports and hid them the trauma of the hijack continued for about 17 hours since the power had begun to fail the lights became dim the terrorists thought that the passengers would try to escape in the darkness and it would be difficult to hold them at ransom they began firing at random immediately Neerja rushed to the emergency door and pushed it open. Desperately, she cried, "Get out! Run!" Dash these words have not been forgotten by the survivors. They can also recall how she guided and pushed people down the chute. The most touching part of the entire experience was her death. While trying to protect three children, she absorbed the onslaught of bullets that pierced her body. The citation by Pan Am rightly says, Neerja was called upon under the most difficult conditions at the most difficult time to step forward in a position of leadership and her heroic actions were clearly responsible for saving hundreds of lives the weekend review remarked she was brave in life brave in death the only stewardess to have commanded an aircraft and held the hijackers at bay was an indian Neerja Bhanot received the Ashok Chakra, India's highest civilian award for bravery. The Ashok Chakra citation states, her loyalties to the passengers of the aircraft in distress will forever be a lasting tribute to the finest qualities of the human spirit. She was awarded the Tamgha e Insaniyat, Pakistan Flight Safety Foundation Award and also the Medal of Heroism of the National Society of the Sons of the American Revolution, USA. Neerja's parents were shattered yet proud of their daughter's heroism. They set up a trust with an initial amount of 36.5 lakh. The trust honors and awards those who reflect the heroic qualities of Neerja's character. The trust gives two annual awards of 1.5 lakh each. One award goes to an airline crew member who acts beyond the call of duty under trying circumstances anywhere in the world. The other award goes to an Indian woman who has fought against social injustices like dowry and desertion. These awards keep alive the memory of one of the bravest women of our country.